tutorial. Hi, I'm Monique from Beats and Basics. Thanks for watching this jewelry tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make friendship bracelets with flower beads. So this is the bracelet we're gonna make. It's a very basic knot and we're just gonna fancy it up with our new flower beads. So I'll show you what you need. So you're gonna need some waxed cord and flower beads and three millimeter spacer beads. And then you're gonna finish up the bracelet with some four millimeter chain, a cord end, two cord ends of six by eight millimeters, a four millimeter jump ring, and a lobster clasp and I'm using pliers, jewelry glue, nylon thread, some clear nail polish and a lighter and some a piece of tape. Okay so we're gonna start by making the bracelet with the waxed cord. This is three meter and we're gonna divide it into four pieces. So just do it double and then double again and then make a knot leave about five centimeters in the loop so you have enough enough room to finish your bracelet and then cut this piece so you have four strands And then we're just going to use a really basic macrame knot to make the bracelet. So you've got four strands. You're going to take the most left and then you're going to take your the next strand and you're going to make all the knots with your left strand. So just put it over then under and pull. So this is your first knot and then you're going to make another one on the same thread. So put it over and then under and then pull. And then you're gonna take the next cord. So you continue on making the knots with the same thread, put it over, under, and then make the knot. So that's one. And then two, and then you're gonna take the last strand and also make two knots. Like this, so this is your first row. And then you're just gonna continue like this. So now this is your most left thread and you're going to use this thread for all your knots for this row so again over under one two go to the next and you're just going to continue until your bracelet is long enough so for the right size, you're just going to measure your wrist and then you're going to take off about two centimeters because you're going to use that for your clasps and some chain to finish it off. Okay, so the bracelet is now long enough. So we're going to fix the flower beads on it. Just pull it a little bit so there's some room between the knots. And then you're going to take a piece of nylon thread about... 20 25 centimeters and on the back of the bracelet you're gonna stick it halfway through one of the knots pull your thread halfway then first put on the larger flower and then the smaller flower and then you're gonna take your spacer bead and then you're going to put your thread back, but not through the spacer bead. You're just going to put it back through the flowers. And then it looks like this. So it's really cute. Now we have to fix it to the bracelet. 
So this is what it's gonna look like. Make sure you make the knot on top of the bracelet and not underneath because it's on your skin and can get a little bit, a bit irritating. So just take the thread and put it back up through your bracelet. So now both threads, they stick out on the top of your bracelet and you can just make a couple of knots. So make sure the first one's pretty tight. So your flowers are nicely secured to the bracelet. And always when making knots in elastic or nylon threads, just use a little bit of clear nail polish. Put that on your knot so it stays in. Just cut off the ends and leave to dry for about a minute before you finish off the bracelet. So we put on both cord ends, now we're going to just put on the clasp. You're going to take a 4mm jump ring and open it. Make sure the rings, you always open them like this and not like this, because then you'll lose the form. You cannot close them properly anymore. So just open it a little bit. Put them through your lobster clasp. Put it through the eye on your cord end. And then close it. And then on the other side, I'm going to put a little piece of chain. Like this, it's adjustable in size, which is really handy if you're making jewelry for somebody else or if you want to sell it. If you're gonna make it just for yourself, you can also use a double loop ring. But for now, I'm just gonna use a little piece of chain. So open it. Close it again. And that's your bracelet finished. I hope you like this one. It's a pretty easy technique. I think I made these kind of friendship bracelets when I was like 9 or 10 years old. So maybe it's also a good thing or a fun thing to be doing with your kids. Uh, you can buy all the materials in our web shop www.beatsandbasics.com And if you want to see even more jewelry tutorials, you can subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye bye.